Hey language learners, have you ever wondered how the language tool that you have already studied can affect the language tree that you're supposed to acquire? Well, in this video, I'm going to break it down for you. This video is made for those of you who have already some experience with foreign languages, namely for those people who had already tried to acquire the second language and they are now trying to learn and study third language. Even though the acquisition of the second language is qualitatively different than the acquisition of the first language of your native language, there is a huge role for the acquisition of your third language in this process and that's why I think it's very important to discuss this role of the previous experience. And I have to make a disclaimer here. Thus, in a couple of next minutes, I'm going to share my own experience and my own opinion on the topic of the relation between language 2 and language 3. Basically, when it comes to the link between language 2 and language 3, we have to diversify three arguments that we are supposed to talk about and this is how the video is going to be sorted. Hence, in the following couple of minutes, I'm going to share with you these three arguments that will be three parts of this video and eventually I will give you the conclusion regarding these arguments. Firstly, the language too will affect the moment that you will start learning language 3. In order to say it differently, the proficiency in the language 2 will have a huge impact on the moment in which you will start to study the language 3. In order to illustrate this example, I can say that once upon a time I started learning French language in my secondary school. But before I started learning French language, I have learned Italian language in my primary school. And since the proficiency of Italian at that moment was not uh, adequate, I used to mix those languages. And uh, what was the consequence of the inadequacy in the language, Italian and uh, eventually French, was making my own words in French and I was somehow trying to develop my own words when I'm supposed to speak French. I was uh, somehow using some invented phrases that were rooted in Italian words. What I'm trying to tell you is that there is a sort of silent period that exists in uh, every language learning process and we have to be careful and uh, achieve certain level of proficiency in uh, the previous language in order to start learning the next one. If you don't pay attention and don't give enough space to your brain to adapt to the previous language, you might fall into the trap of mixing the languages and making the confusion in your mind between the languages that you are trying to study and learn. Thus, the moral of this part of video would be to wait to achieve a certain level of proficiency in the second language in order to start the third one. My personal opinion is that you have to be at least at B2 level in your second language in order to try to learn the third language. In this way, you will give enough space to your brain to adapt and you would probably not mix the languages and have these issues that I had with French and Italian. Secondly, a language tool would definitely affect the language tree, the choice of your language tree. And this part has to be two-folded. At the one side, you have already had some sort of experience and I hope it was a positive experience. This might affect your choice in uh, another language, for instance. Personally, I love the Italian language and I developed this positive affection towards Romance languages. Therefore, a logical step would be to learn 
another Romance language. There are uh, sort of things such as uh, culture, the origins that you might feel the affection for and this would definitely eventually affect uh, your choice of the third language. My personal recommendation is that for the third language you should not choose the language that's very distant from the second language that you already acquired. I think the third experience, the third language actually, should be very similar to the second one in order to gain more experience with foreign languages and show yourself that you're capable of acquiring more than one language. Thirdly, the success with a language too will definitely affect your success in a language tree. Positive experience with second language would definitely boost your confidence. I think that one of the most important things when it comes to language tree is that you already have some experience with language two and you probably already developed a method in order to acquire the language. Even though this method is wrong, there is a huge space in order to change it, to adapt it to a new language and uh, in order to explore the language and uh, find out new things that you should know in order to acquire the language. The experience with the second language will definitely help you in the third language, especially with the things that are common in those languages such as for instance the pronunciation, the accents, even with vocabulary and words you know you have many cognates in uh, languages for instance when I used to learn French language I already had so many cognates in Italian informazione in Italiano uh, l'information in uh, French language. So these are the things that will definitely affect your success in your third language. Thus to conclude, the language too will affect the moment that you learn the language tree. You should wait until you reach the intermediate level in the second language in order to start learning the third one. Number two, the second language will affect the language you choose as a third language. My recommendation to choose the language that's similar to the language two that you already acquired. In this way, you will save yourself struggles, you will boost your confidence, and you'll make yourself really a successful language learner. And the argument three that we have mentioned, the language two will affect your success in language three. And in this way, the proficiency that you already reached, the methods that you already developed, the vocabulary you built, you can use all these things in order to reach success in the language number three that you are supposed to acquire. Therefore, in the next year, I hope that you will choose the language three and that you will reach the intermediate level in this language. And guys, this YouTube channel is supposed to help you in your language learning, so if you like these videos that I make, please be kind and share those with your friends and please consider subscribing to the channel because this helps me a lot. And write me the topics that you want to be covered in the following videos and see you in the next one. Bye!